Today's traces can be big, real big. Message Analyzer can help you deal with large traces by letting you load sections of the trace and configure what and how to load them. This video will discuss how to deal with large traces. This provides benefits by decreasing the load time while also resulting in faster processing. And there's less data, which leads to faster problem analysis. When you try to capture an intermittent and unspecific problem, you often need to capture a lot of data, but you only need to examine a small portion where the problem occurred. This can result in large traces, which we can loosely define as between 1 and 16 gigs in size. This, of course, depends on your system, because if you have 16 gigs of memory, it's really only a question of time to load. But even if you could load all that data, you might want to consider this technique because it can help reduce the time it takes to apply filters and to work with the data. I'd also like to bring up at this time that the performance is not always based on only the size of the data. A simple event log or ETW is less complex than network traffic, which you can see visually using the message stack tool. Also, the more protocol layers we parse, the more state we keep for tracking retransmits and file names and other protocol state that saves time during analysis. The more endpoints there are, the more objects we need to keep in general. Additionally, a trace on the client is less complex than a server trace, which creates more endpoints than the client side. So rather than just opening a trace directly, we need to open it by using new session and then selecting files. Then you can add the files you want. This is also where you can add multiple files, but we can illustrate that more in a separate video. Depending on the file type, we can gather some high level detail like the message count, the start time and the end time. First adjustment you can make is to limit the time range. Maybe I want to see the last few minutes. I can select the checks box for use start filter and slide the bar to the right, which determines which messages to include. Now keep in mind for a circular ETW traces, the first few messages could contain information that are inserted at the beginning this causes the timeline scale to become disproportionate and what you'll find is that the end portion is where all your messages are. If that's the case, perhaps another way to accomplish the same thing is to take the end time and then manually enter in the time. It's the start time, but subtracting a few seconds. Filtering by time is fast when the trace has metadata we can scan. For ETWs and .cap and other trace types, we can read the time without having to parse the data. Since parsing is the slowest part of the process, filtering by time can be very fast. We can also add a filter at this point. While it doesn't help with the loading speed, it does produce a smaller analysis session, which can be faster. Less stuff in memory means less swapping of data to disk, which can be a bottleneck if you're low on memory. So let's remove our filter and discuss how we can also change the parsing level. For instance, I can select high performance capture without parsing. This is normally used to make a capture, live capture work faster, but it can also be used in cases where you want to load the data first to see the start and stop times. This is faster because we don't parse past the first layer. Once you locate the session, you could select those frames and then save them out. Alternatively, you could copy the timestamp range manually. Then you could edit the session again from the global toolbar, select full edit, and then manually paste in the time, making adjustments where needed and then restore the parsing level to full and apply the changes. You can use other parsing levels to speed up loading while getting more parsing. For instance, the network analysis parsing level 
allows parsing through TCP and UDP while making some exceptions for certain types of traffic. The network analysis parsing level doesn't reassemble data though. While there is no UI to create these definitions, it can be defined via XML. And if you want to create a new parsing level, we can help you in our discussion forums on TechNIC, which by the way you can reach through our start page by selecting the discussion voting button. Large data can be dealt with by limiting the data you load. Using Message Analyzer's advanced loading configuration, you can tame that large trace, load a more concise view of your problem, which speeds up analysis. Bye for now.